Hey everyone, how's it going? It's Nadie and welcome back to Fake Ass, the series where we test the fake up to the makeup that you love. And today we'll be trying out the real versus the fake Givenchy Prism Powder. As you beautiful people know, any tiff you may have, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh my little designer dandies, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself am doing fabulous, a touch warm. Am I shiny? Damn. Oh, honey. Anyways, life is fabulous. I have no complaints. But I'm just so happy to be doing this and so glad that you're here so thank you but I will admit this isn't technically a fake ass I have got to turn a fan on or something oh so this isn't technically a fake ass it's more like a dupe em. if you've seen the series which I've recently brought back with a bit of hesitation we normally test out like the real palette versus an exact copy from China usually from like wish or Aliexpress but one of my fabulous subscribers said that there was a dupe for this on Timu and it's not the exact same but it looks the same like this little lady does not say Givenchy on it, but it's supposed to be the same concept. So it's a crossover between my fake ass and dupe em series. But we did recently bring the series back with the fake ass Tati palette and that legit was a fake ass. And I do enjoy the series. I know a lot of people did, but I'm very picky with my selections because honey, I almost went blind. I had so many skin issues. I'm not gonna die over a fake Too Faced palette. But now we are coming back with a new and improved version of fake ass where we're gonna be looking at the stuff under the microscope. They do list all all of the ingredients, but the thing is, when it comes out of China, they don't have quite as strict regulations as they do with, say, like, the states. And so it is a little bit hard to fully believe this ingredient list. But then at the same time, a lot of the makeup that we buy at Alter Sephora could possibly be coming from these same factories. So yeah, we're just gonna test these today because this Givenchy powder is hella expensive and it's kind of confusing. It's multicolored and I think it's more for color correcting and whatnot. But on the directions, they're saying this only lasts, like, six hours. Who the fuck wants to apply a powder that only lasts six hours. People get ready an hour or two before they go into work and then what, halfway into their shift they just look like sludge? Bitch, if we are paying like 50 or 60 dollars for a fucking powder, it should last you three days. Our dupe is from La Mila? La Mila? What the fuck is that? La Mila. And like I said, I got this from Timu. I know, bad ethics. I talked about that in my last Timu review. If you want to hear me rant about it, please check that video out. Ooh, you know what? They actually do have a little timer thing right there, but I can't read it. Hold on, let me translate it with Google. Oh, well, fuck. It just says not easy to take off makeup. Okay. This is finely milled. It's natural. Let's compare ingredientes, shall we? The Givenchy was made in Italy. We love that. This was not. Oh, and their whole six hour wear time thing was performed on 16 volunteers. I'm glad we're very thorough with our research. 16 people? Like, why even fucking bother? For ingredients, there are a lot of similarities, but this one has dimethicone in it and this one does not. So if you have a silicone allergy, definitely stay away from this? Who knows, maybe this actually would be a better option for some people. But the first ingredient with Miss Givenchy is talc, and that's the second ingredient here. I can't even pronounce the first ingredient, but the dupe does actually seem quite a bit more minimal than the Givenchy, so we'll see how they perform. We have two different Givenchy powder colors. We have three and four. Number four is kind of like a color correction, and number three is just purdy. It's like a bunch of pink and shit. It's cute. And I don't think they had the fake ass color correcting one, but I cannot remember what I ordered. My god, it is hotter than Satan's nutsack in here. What the hell is happening? <gasps> Do you see this? I'm perspiring profusely. Well, actually, that's the perfect time to be testing this powder. Maybe it's a sign from the makeup gods. Okay, I had to turn the AC down. My, like, my pits are sweating. On C4Ha, the Givenchy powder is 59 fucking dollars, but it has almost 5 out of 5 stars, so that's not bad. And then the dupe is $3.59. $60, <laughs> though. My goodness. My titties were in a twist over the Laura Mercier price, but $60? Yes, I'll clutch my pearl. I can't believe I spent $120. Damn it, drunk Nady. Ooh, that's pretty. It kind of looks like leather on top, very fancy, but otherwise, it's just cheap plastic. This does not feel like $60. This should not be $60. You are 1,000% paying for that little logo. And then here is the more color correcty one. We have a nice kind of minty green, a lavender, a salmon, and a tan. Uh, ooh, that's cute. It comes with a little poof that says Givenchy on it. I'm gonna clip those to my ears and wear them as earrings. I'm a designer girl now. Ooh, they'd make good pasties too. And so comfy. No, I'm literally gonna be wiping my sweat off with them in 10 minutes. And then here we have the fake ass version. Oh, I guess I did get something with color. Those are interesting colors. So this is like a milky lime green. Then we have kind of like a sorbet orange. We have a sky blue. And then I don't even know what that color is. It's like the powdered version of a bar's excess drink bucket. Just a little bit of everything 
everything mixed into one. But in all honesty, this actually feels more luxurious than the Givenchy. It's bigger, I think you get more product in it. It doesn't have the pretty logo on the top, but I can live without that. Let's see if it comes with a poof. Oh my gosh, it does. All right. For comparison, it looks like you actually get like twice the amount of powder in the fake ass, the one that's $3.59. And then here we have number three. Again, we have that very interesting greenish color. They really like that green for some reason. But we're given kind of a petal pink, a really pretty yellow, and an off purple. Is that a color? Like a mix between white and purple. And then here is number one, which, okay. It looks like we have another pretty pink. We have like a yellow, that really weird beigey shade, and another kind of lavendery blue. The Givenchy colors are way more vibrant. So that is kind of disappointing. But you know what? The colors in this less vibrant Givenchy one actually do look the exact same as these. So we're just missing like the really poppin' version, which is a bummer. But now that I'm looking at my order, they don't even have that. So I don't know why I ordered that one from Givenchy, fuck. Okay, baby, we have got to dive into this. I'm dying to feel them. Oh my goodness, even the little safety seal says Givenchy is so fancy. Isn't that just so stupid? We are programmed to think that just a name is fancy. People out here spending $70 on a fucking t-shirt just because of the name. Uh, oh shit. Well, for $60, that shouldn't happen. Oh my God, it is just getting destroyed. It won't even fucking come off. It's like ripping in half. My goodness, what an absolute mess. All right, so there she is. Ooh, it smells like roses. Wait, does that smell like roses or plastic? I can't tell. It's kind of like baby powder-esque. Let me smell this gal. We are given yet another safety seal on this. Hopefully it comes off easier. The fuck was this stuck down with? This is like military grade. No, this this doesn't have a smell. But what I am confused about is the application. Like, are you supposed to mix all these colors? I guess I thought you'd be able to kind of dip into each one individually, but how is that gonna happen? It must just combine and make one color? Well, so far they are equally as sloppy, but still one is a bit bigger. And I'm not gonna say bigger is always better, but have we ever said bigger is worse? All right, let's feel Miss Givenchy. Oh, that is so beautiful and soft feeling. It's like silk. And then let's feel the fake ass one. It feels the exact same. Absolutely heavenly, just like a pillowcase. And then let's open up our other Givenchy. Gosh, those colors are so beautiful. Doesn't it look like an eyeshadow quad? I don't know, do we just like shake this up? Mm. Oh gosh, now I'm scared. Oh wow, okay. Hmm, yeah, what did we expect? But I'm so confused about this because now this just looks like vomit in a bucket. Everything is combined. It's like we ate spaghetti, blueberries, and maybe munched on a maple leaf. And now all the colors are just there. And now if we shake that back into the tin, all the colors are just getting mixed together. So what the fuck is the point? I could totally be missing something here. I wouldn't be surprised, but please let me know down in the comments below how you are supposed to use this if I'm using it wrong. What the hell? But before we go in with anything, I do just want to try this on my bare ass face since we're shiny. So uh, I don't know. What do we do? Just like stir this around. I bleh. will just take our little expensive poof poof dip right there. That seems like an awful lot, but uh, okay. And let's start right down here where I have a bit of redness. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. That actually is quite pretty. I mean, it's a powder. Oh, it's smelly. It's kind of like the wealthier stepsister of Cody Airspun. That does, however, look magnificent on the skin. However, does it look any different than any other powder? No. I tried to grab some of the green powder. It's a little bit mixed with the blue, but I do have some redness right there. So let's take this right here and hopefully it'll kind of color correct. Oh my gosh. Like that scene in White Chicks. Oh gosh, that is so stinky, man. Well, the color is kind of laying down, but now I just look blue. So there is pigment to it, but it's also really inconsistent too. And here is what we are left with. It looks like the aftermath of a pinata. Just a bunch of colors. I can't really specifically grab one. Okay, so I guess we did do this a little bit wrong. On the Sephora website, they say, put your powder poof on there and shake it twice. All right, that looks like a classroom project. I'm loving it. And now we will take this and let it soak up our oil. So, who damn. That is like $3 worth of powder. And it is a little bit ashy at first, but once you kind of spread it around and buff it out, it doesn't look bad. Like that actually is really pretty. But I would not say $60 pretty. So now let's go in with our little dupey dupe. This is the most colorful version. I don't even know which number it is. But seeing how the Givenchy blended out to pretty much be no color, I don't really think that it's gonna matter that this isn't super colorful. One, two, three. Okay, we did three. Oh, we got a lot less with her. Let's maybe do a couple shakes. Can you 
see the little bit that she got on there? Yeah. I do appreciate that this has no smell, but we do have a decent combination here. There's lavender, blue, orange, yellow. So let's go ahead and try it over here. Ready? Well, honey, it looks the same. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't have the dimethicone slickness to it. But as far as how it looks on the skin, there is absolutely no difference. Yeah, that is interesting, isn't it? Well, folks, I think it might be time to pull out the good old microscope because on the face, I cannot see a difference. Can you? Like, neither side really has a white cast to it, or at least no more than the other side does. Ah, yeah, okay. And I think these two are probably the closest and they aren't even that close, but under the microscope, it'll be totally fine. I'm basically just looking for fuzzies, anything crawling around. Pretty much the same thing you'd look for in a hotel room, but under a microscope. Ooh, fuck. <sighs> Ah, no wonder I have breathing problems. First up, we have Miss Givenchy powder. It just looks like a powder. Kind of looks like a pile of snow, doesn't it? I don't really see much, do you? The color looks fairly evenly distributed. Let's try the more colorful Givenchy. Well, that certainly doesn't look beautiful by any means. This is supposed to be matte, but it also looks like there's a few little shimmers in there, doesn't it? Hmm, okay. Well, I don't see any fuzzies or anything in this, so that's a good sign. Let's move on to our fake-ass dupe, shall we? The more pinky dupe really looks exactly like the Givenchy, does it not? Even when we move it around, I don't see anything out of place. I mean, I don't exactly know what we're looking for, just as long as there's not big shards of glass or something. But for the most part, like, it seems the exact same. It just looks like a glistening snowy canopy. And then lastly, we have one of the more colorful fake asses. Yeah, it just looks like powder. I don't see any remnants of, like, fuzz or any shards of anything random. I'm not gonna say I'm impressed or anything, Thing, but I'm honestly kind of surprised. Like, maybe this is actually legit. Huh, well, how about fucking that? But I think the only way we can truly tell is by putting this to the test. So let's go ahead and slap a little something something on our face and we can set it with this powder. So we'll prime with our Dew of the Gods. And this is supposed to be a mattifying powder. It's supposed to keep you shine proof for, they say, six hours. So that's what we're gonna try it for. For foundation, I'm going in with my Maybelline Fit Me in the shade 122. Oh, fuck, you know what? I forgot to wipe that powder off. Hold on, we're gonna start over. There we go. We're back to being a fresh face little boy toy. Now let's re-go in with our primer. I do know a lot of people that powder before their foundation and it does look great and it helps their makeup last throughout the day, but I don't want anything to fuck with anything here. So we're just gonna be straightforward with this. The only thing straight about this channel. And then I totally forgot about this KVD concealer. We're gonna retry it again today. Just take a few drops right there. And I would love to go in with like a full look today with contour and bronzer and a whole eye look, but I really wanna put this powder to the test and see exactly exactly how it wears on the skin. And if I go in with a bunch of products, I'm adding so many factors that could fuck shit up. I probably shouldn't have even gone in with concealer, but we did. So let's first go in with Miss Givenchy and I'm gonna try to tap all the powder that's on the top of this back into it. Nope, I think even more came up. All right, that's no biggie. We'll just make do. Oh wait, that's not even the right poof. I'm mixing brands here for shame, Nady. Okay, we will start with the Givenchy on this side. And first I'm gonna take it directly underneath the eyes because that is where I'm the creasiest. Oh wow, okay. And under there, I'm going in with a pink powder. And then on the rest of my face, I think I'll take the more colorful one. Just so we can see if there actually is that big of a difference. That is really pretty. It absolutely is mattifying my face. And then let's also take a tiny bit right there. Oh my gosh, I thought that was only a tiny bit. What the hell? It's kind of hard to gauge how much you have, but it's my own fault because I shook so much out. Okay, so there is the little highlight areas. Don't worry, I'll dust that away. And now with the more colorful version, we are gonna place that everywhere else else. Oh my gosh, this is a ton. I'm so sorry. Fortunately, it is not cakey at all. Oh fuck, that's strong. I'm gonna have to buff it out because it does kind of want to give a white cast. Like this on deeper skin would probably be a no-no or go in with an ass ton less, which would probably be a better option. But once on the face, both kind of look the exact same, although I am a tiny bit off color right here. Do I look a little bit green or red or blue or orange or something that isn't me? I do think that how it's sitting on the skin is really pretty, but the actual actual way it looks, I don't love. And that could absolutely be because I applied so much. So maybe that's my fault. I'm really sorry if it is. We can kind of dust any excess powder away just in case. Hopefully you can see, but there is definitely like a white stripe down the side of my face. I don't know if this has titanium dioxide in it, but there's definitely some kind of white hue. And now for the other side, we are first dipping into the more pinky version for underneath the eye. We'll place that right there. Oh, wowie. I smelled something, but I think I'm still getting wafts of this half of my face. 
But in all fairness, that looks the exact same. It is totally mattifying, just like the Givenchy. And it's also kind of giving that white cast. So let's try the more colorful version on the other half of my face. Yes, how pretty. It's like an Easter egg. And we'll just do the same thing, kind of slide it around and then dust it away. Yeah, they both really give that white hue. Am I wrong? Don't I look a tad bit ghostly? I don't think I really care for either of the colored versions. The pink ones, they were okay. That kind of completely transformed the color of my foundation. But otherwise, how these feel on my skin, I cannot tell any sort of a difference. I don't know if I should go in with a little bit of setting spray. Like, would that defeat the purpose of this? Normally, I would go in with setting spray to help melt this powder, but because this is a powder review, I think I'm just gonna leave this exactly as is. So, my loves, what do we think? Can you tell the difference between the fake-ass side versus the real side? My skin looks so fucking beautiful, and if I'm being real, the fact that the fake-ass doesn't have a smell, I would probably lean more towards that because I can still smell the Givenchy and it is just not mm. it's not something that I want to keep smelling like the first time it's fine but I want it to go away the only difference that I can see is when I'm super fucking up close but the Givenchy side does look a little bit more smooth and poreless and porcelain versus this side which might be a tiny bit cakier but really that might just be my mind I guess the true test will be during the wear time so my loves here we have it I will see you in just a second at the end of my day hi so we're in in my bathroom under real lighting and oh this camera always accentuates the worst features i promise i don't look this haggard but damn that's just a confidence sucker it doesn't help that i have foundation all over my lips so both sides honestly look the same i do still look hella ghostly i really think this needs set into place with a spray i think if i still look like this in a few hours and not much has changed i might give myself a little squirt giggity am i impressed with either not necessarily i definitely don't think think the Givenchy is worth the price. I have tried so many Givenchy makeup products and I still have yet to find one that is truly worth the price tag and I don't think this is an exception. But we'll see how it lasts throughout the day. It's only been a couple minutes. I still have like five hours and 59 minutes to go. So see you in a little bit. Hi darlings. Okay so we're about an hour into our wear time test. Everything I think looks the exact same but this really does look different in every kind of lighting. So here it looks fine but then in my bathroom I looked ashy and ghostly and I put some foundation on my hand and applied a little bit of powder over it just to see if maybe I applied too much on my face, which I probably did. But even with just a tiny smackerel smidgen of powder, it still gave that white hue. So I'm assuming this probably needs set into place with a spray. And so here's how we look. I'm just gonna go in with a couple squirts of setting spray. Maybe that'll help with the ashiness. Okay, mm let's just do that. Do I look any different? Am I still Casper? Hold on. Um, well, I do still think I'm kind of on the pale side. I definitely am still a little bit moist, so the dewiness will kind of die off. But though I don't think that really helped in the color, it does look a lot better. It doesn't look like it's just sitting on top of my skin. My skin looks like skin again. So yeah, I'm not mad at that. Damn, okay. What do we think? Yes? No? Maybe? Either way, I'm gonna continue wearing this for the rest of my day. I will see you shortly. And we are back. It's the end of my day. We made it through the whole six hours. It's actually been more. Also, I just realized I keep forgetting to change the color of my backdrop. It's been the same for like three videos. Sorry. But let's take a peeky poo at how we're doing, shall we? I have been working around the house vacuuming, cleaning all of my makeup brushes, and she worked up a sweat, and I actually think that helped. For a while there, I was looking really fucking mad. I think the setting spray helped. I think the oils coming through on my skin aided. But I'm here to tell you, both sides look the exact same. I don't know why Givenchy says this only lasts like six hours, because this still looks great. Great. Granted, I'm not that oily, so maybe if you are profusely oily, it might not look that great after six hours. But I have absolutely no complaints. Well, yes, I do. I guess the fact that one is $60 and one is like four, that's kind of a big complaint when they look the same. I have tried quite a few powders in my life, and honey, this is not worth the price. Is it good? Yeah. But $60 good? Fuck to the no. Not when you compare it to a $4 one that works the exact same, and it's not like you have to get this $4 one. This this just tells me that this is absolutely dupable and you could probably find something very similar at the drugstore. This is pretty, I can see why people like it, but I am not gonna sit here and say, oh my gosh, go spend $60 on a powder. No, 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 no. This is pretty too, but the whole ingredient thing does kind of freak me out a little bit. Like we don't truly know exactly what's in it, but even though the ingredients are different, I see absolutely no difference on my face. Like, can you tell anything? We have the fake side, we have the Givenchy side. Does this look like it's a $60 
$1 powder. Oh, wow, my face is soft. Oh, that's nice. I'll probably continue using the same powder that I've used for a long time, but if you are an oil-prone person, you might like either of these. I didn't love that both of them left a white cast on my skin, and it wasn't just on camera. Like, it totally wasn't just flashback from these lights. It was everywhere. It did kind of disappear when I used the setting spray, but more so as my oils and sweat came through. And I don't want to have to, like, go jog a mile just to make my face look good. I did maybe go in a little bit too heavy. I'm sorry. But I did also use that exactly how I use my other powder, and I never have that happen. And it certainly isn't $60 either. I wish it were four. Are they exact dupes? Not ingredient-wise, but performance-wise? Yeah. I don't know what else to say. I think I look better at the end of the day than I did going into it. So, there you go, baby. How about them apples? Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Does it look good? Would you use either or neither of these? Would you ever pay $60 for a setting powder? Better blow me and make me dinner for that price. Ugh, why did I smell it again? What the fuck? Anyways, there you go. Thank you so much for being here. I loved having you. And if you want just a little bit more me in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplux. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon-only content. You get a Patreon-only store. And best part, it's cheap, fun, and fancy just like me. And don't forget, my latest Repop collection is available at repopcosmetics.com. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at official Nady, and you can follow me online at thepoplux.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye!